There's 0377 Tony is a gooner. Tony, good evening. Good evening, gentlemen. How the devil are you? Yeah, we're OK. We're OK, well, Tony. Thank now, you. Now, about four or five weeks ago, when we were all looking forward to this game, I felt it was a game that Arsenal could go there and even maybe suffer a defeat and still be on top of the table. Then a couple of weeks ago, I'm going, OK, things haven't gone quite so well. You can go there now and, and you know, get a draw and you're still on top of the table, which you will be. But no, no I'll, I'll, feel... I'll be the first, I'll be the first oh, oh, Jason, dear. to right. put my hands up and say, unfortunately, the last two results... I mean, when you throw away a two-goal lead against West Ham and then obviously we fought back gallantly on Friday to get a point, I mean, those two games has cost us dearly and I just think we've lost our mojo now. And to be honest with you, um, what I don't want Arsenal to suffer this Wednesday is a humiliating defeat, which I, 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 when I say that, I don't, want, I don't want us to lose 4 or 5 nil. Um, it's got to that stage now where we've just, I think we've run out of steam and um, the, the confidence has gone from the from the players now. And if I'm being perfectly honest, um, second is the best we can hope for now. And, I, and I'm happy with that, you know. I mean, this time last year, we were struggling to sort of get Champions League qualification. We blew it towards the end. And in, in, in a, year, a year forward, we've, we've come leaps and bounds. We've been, Man City have been chasing our tail all season. And we're, we're the only club that's given them a run for the money. It's about all the players they've got, the money they've got. We've given them everything, and, and unfortunately, um, we've you know we've just run out of puff. I think now, and, and now I think you know, like I say, Wednesday. My only concern is the best we can hope for Wednesday is a draw. If I'm honest with you. Okay, well, that's not the worst. Yeah, no, uh, Tony. I think you're spot on there, mate. Uh, um, Arsenal have, uh, like I said, the only team really. Well, no, has pushed City all the way, or, or they've pushed you all the way. Without Arsenal, City would have won the league probably 10, 10 weeks ago, 10 exactly. games ago. Exactly. It would have been done, done and buried. Um, but I did say before Christmas that two things. I said did that you? Arsenal are a, a few injuries away of mm. crumbling. And I said after Christmas, they will crumble, which they didn't. They prolonged it. No, but I, but, I, but I, it's come to the crunch. And I didn't say it in, in a bad way. I was saying that because yeah. they haven't been in this situation before, they're, they're one of the youngest squads in the yeah. Premier League. And when you've got a team like Manchester United, cha- um, sorry, uh, Man City chasing you, yeah. that pressure is is is, is immense. different, it's immense. immense. You know, and, 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 all, and, and the proof's in the pudding at the moment. You know, dropping we, points at, yeah. at Southampton at home. Yeah. When we lost, when we lost Jesus, Jesus, mm. uh, uh, during the World Cup, I thought, oh, here we go, because he was basically our main. He wasn't just a good striker; he was a good all-round player. He, you know, the number of assists he would do throughout the, for each game, and the confidence that he gave to the team was immense, right? And unfortunately, when we lost him after the World Cup, I thought, well, this is where we're going to struggle. But the down, the upside to that was we didn't. Mm. We had that little blip against uh, Everton, and I could, you could see that coming when mm. you know they sat uh, Lampard, and you got. You know, you've got a new manager in. I thought you're going to get the immediate uplift. And for whatever reason, and we were playing really well up to that match. And for whatever reason, we struggled and we lost. But apart from that blip, we, we bounced back and we carried on. And then we had, but then we had that really tight um, run in and start with Man United at home. And we, we had a blinder of a game there, end to end stuff. And we came out with three points. But now, now the last ten games, the last eight games, sorry, that matter. Um, we've we've just I don't know we've just lost it you know we two go lead at Anfield you know and we threw that away basically and we could have lost that match as well you know so I think the game against West Ham is the one that really because it is yeah. the most amazing thing actually in those two games you've been the better side in the opening twenty minutes half an hour and yeah. you you nearly blew them out the way you've done that against Fulham maybe yeah. six weeks ago yeah. I just I wonder, just wonder. Lots have been said about it, but it's hard not to to ask the question again. Seven goals conceded in the last three games. How much of a, a miss has Saliba been? Well, it's been immense, isn't yeah, it? I mean, yeah. it, it, says, it says it on its own, doesn't it? You know, yeah. you can't lose a defender like that and, and not and not suffer. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. just been. It's just one of those things. Though. I mean, the thing is, I still. I mean, it, it's disappointing. It's not a failure this season to finish second. No, to it's not a failure. No, it's not. Absolutely not. not. But, but, it, it's but Tony, Tony, it's yeah. not over yet. Oh, I know, Jason. But she might be clearing her throat, the fat lady. But yeah. she's she's not. She hasn't started singing yet. Yeah. No, but put the fat lady to one side. 
<laughs> we, you know, it's, I'm, I'm on my second or third glass of champagne, by the way, celebrating the fact that Arsenal are still top of the league. Well, there you go. But, right. um, there, you go. But there you go. But no, it's um, no. I can see, I can see Man City losing or not losing, but dropping points. Yeah, of course. I, I can, I can see us still dropping more further board points to them before the end of the season, unfortunately. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy, Monday to Thursday nights from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.